Hi guys, it's me Andrea and hello and welcome to our new hashtag event Love Winter Art. Um, you can see me here working with chalk. I try to get the shape of a snowman down that I know where it positioned because I wanted to work with this polyfiller here on the right and the left. That's why I had the sketchy lines down so to have a preference where it was. And then after it dried, I started to put the snowman in. Of course, I used a lot of white with a hint of blue. You know, snow is never only white. He has a bit of shading here and there. So that's why I used this hint of blue. Um, and of course, I had to go over the whole page with white again because of this polyfiller. It has a bit of a grayish color and uh, the background wasn't really properly prepared so um this is the hat of course um used a bit of uh, white to shade it to get the right dimension in again so i uh, this is love winter art obviously and uh, to me winter is not my preferred month or my preferred season month if it would only be a month that would be great um it's Christmas, I love Christmas, but as soon as Christmas has finished, I want summer back. <laughs> so, now, and this is a Christmas page, actually, because winter to me is always Christmas, and then uh, the rest is oh, awful. So um, that's why I started with the snowman. I saw the snowman somewhere, and I thought, oh, I have a snowman page, go for that one. And um, then, while it... While I worked on it, it developed into a Christmas page, and uh, yeah, you will see. So, um, the outside or the, the background, the sky with, with a bit of blue, and here it's a bit darker for shading. And um, okay, this is a bird dye, and I die cut some of the birds out, they have a bit of dimension on them and I try to make them look like robins so I tried yeah okay and a bit of red with um, polychromos red and gray and blend them together and go back with a copy to get the shapes back and yeah of course um, I um, edged it with a pit pen and then it's uh, back on the page but it's only loose on top to give me an idea where to put them and um, then I put the nose in. The it's traditionally a carrot, isn't it? So, because I wanted to have this little bird on the nose as well. Um, but the background to me was a bit boring. You know, it's a winter scene. It's a lot of snow, so of course it's white and a bit of blue. And I used this stamping up um, tree to have a bit going on in the background. Here I uh, wanted to use. I wanted to stamp half that uh, tree behind that guy, but the paper I used here was two-dimensional, so I had a little gap, but it doesn't matter. You can always fix that. I use um, a pencil in the same color and fix that, and that no one will know afterwards. So, sketchy lines around the snowman to give him a bit more, yeah, to take the seriousness away, you know. That's what I would think. So, and I wanted to have, of course, on the trees a bit of snow, but I, my, all the white inks I have, they didn't really show up at all. So I thought, go for the stickles, put them on, give them at least a bit of shine. And I think that was quite a nice idea. Of course, I like this um, shininess and blinginess of the trees. Looks a bit like illuminated trees in the in the night so and this is structure snow I used that for his hat um, I wanted to have some snow on that and it turned out quite nice at the end very dimensional so this is cracked paste actually called cracked paint but it's paste it's really pastry so um, I put that around the whole page because I was yeah, I to me this page, winter snowy page and snowy scene, but to me it, yeah, I needed a bit more frosty, frosty atmosphere, and I thought 
I got that with this cracker paste and I think to me it worked. I didn't leave it like that. I, After it dried I used Distress Ink from this Marie Inkers and uh, went over it, let it soak in into the crackles and then remove with a baby wipe the ink on the surface so that most of the ink left is in, in these crackles to accentuate them. You can see here. And um, at the end, I think that works well. And as you can see here, it brings the whole page much better together, I think. So, more frostiness. That's what a winter page needs. Okay. A bit of background stamping here. That's a background stamp. It was mounted wood mountain, but I removed it from the wood. I never use it in a in this whole sheet thing so it's better to manage when you unmount it and my go-to script stem from Kaisercraft and that's it I'm not doing a lot of more stamping here um, but then I, I was up for some color you know it was all white and a bit of blue and I thought the little guy needs a scarf it's winter and it's cold so and um, because the robins, they are red, I thought the, it would be nice to have a red scarf. So, sorry, I slipped a bit down here off camera, but back now. So a bit of shading now. And because I had um, some red paint left, I thought I might go over the little birds again and give them a really red chest that they're looking like more than like robins. So and match better with the scarf. A bit of shading around the scarf and edgy or sketchy lines as well and more sketchy lines around the snowman and uh, then I go back with my other blank black ink, ink pencil here and give some are generally features around that to make it more interesting and then I stamp the sentiment and I always use a bit of scrap paper I have around here and I thought that was aquarel paper or watercolor paper but it wasn't as you can see I can't shift the watercolor stuff around oh, so what did I have to do to stamp it all again and then I used my aquatones and then it worked because I don't like it when it's completely white there. I need to have it a bit um, colorful. So and then, yeah, fuzzing around with where to position that. Mm, wasn't sure about that. And while I was fuzzing around there, I didn't realize there was an A missing. Oh, I got it then. I had to stamp it again and cut it out. But that's finished then. So, make Christmas a home alone free zone that's what I thought might be the right thing you know with a snowman standing in the woods but all by himself but then gets company by this birds and I quite like this idea not to leave people alone for Christmas and um, that's all about Christmas isn't it be together celebrate it so here's a close-up and at the end of the video we'll see some pictures and so far I say have um, I hope you like it and had fun watching it I thank you a lot for watching have a look at all the other artists put the hashtag into the search bar hashtag love winter art and all the other videos will turn up have a look at them enjoy it and thanks again for watching and I hope I will see you again soon with my next project so have a fantastic time see you soon bye bye guys